Hi guys, Mr. <laughs> Oh dear, I wanted to try something new for the beginning of the video and uh, just, just the neck. Hi guys, <laughs> I can't even do my intro that way. Deary me. Hi guys, Mr. Ruffle Waffles here. Never again. <laughs> Never again. I've been waiting. I've been really waiting, just drumming my fingers on the desk. Waiting and waiting for a moment in which I would be inspired by a topic to such an extent that it would warrant a There's Gotta Be More episode. Today, that moment has come to pass. I have been inspired. The flame of passion is lit and burning alongside the beacon in my heart. And I am ready to speculate that there has got to be more associated with this topic that we're going to be talking about today that is just... Oh, it's so infuriating, and I love it! I love it, but it really is rather weird. Why am I talking about this? Well, multiple reasons. First of all, it's a damn interesting topic to be talking about. That alone is a reason to post the video. Also, I was tweeted by a chap called Daniel Jones, and he reminded me of something that I've been tweeted, I think, once before, and I've been meaning to talk about for a while, but just keep forgetting and haven't got around to it, okay? Dr. Monty and his red scarf. That's today's topic, let's dive in. In Zetsubo no Shima, there is a red scarf on a box. Just lying on a box, it's not doing anything, you can't interact with it, it serves no purpose in the map, there are no quotes associated with it, as far as I've heard at least, it's just there, on a box, chilling out, keeping the box warm I guess, or something like that. So you could say, well Milo, during Zetsubo no Shima, we had never seen Dr. Monty before. And so, maybe, just maybe, this is our actual first physical bit of Dr. Monty that we can grab and say, Hey look, this belongs to Dr. Monty. Cool. His factory, where he produces the gobblegums, isn't really that close to him, I'd say. His gobblegum machines, not something that I think that he might sleep with at night, but that damn red scarf, I don't think he ever takes off. And so, the fact that it's just lying there on the box is interesting in itself. But we can go back further. Because in Origins, as Joe Trocious tweeted me many moons ago, and I responded to him and said, Interesting theory, but I just don't think that there's enough evidence for this right now. But cool theory regardless. Let's see how things play out. He tweeted me this idea, okay? He said, Milo, on Origins, there's a, a wooden post just extending into the air, by the mound, okay? Pretty standard, nothing really too crazy about that. Wooden post, just like all the other wooden posts around the mound. But this one is special, because attached to that wooden post, tied to that wooden post, is a red cloth. It's just a random red cloth. Now, if we're thinking about this from our current point of view, then a red cloth sounds very similar to the red scarf that Dr. Monty wears. But, at the time of finding this, which was probably around February where I got tweeted it, we didn't know that Dr. Monty was wearing a red scarf ever. The only link to a red scarf we had in Black Ops 3 was in the terminal for the campaign, where we have that quote about, uh, find the man in the market, tell him the giant has risen, which is a whole nother can of worms. Oh my goodness me, that warrants its own video. That so warrants its own video, I'm going to save that for another video, because holy guacamole. Oh my goodness me, I want, I want there to be more for it so badly. I want there to be more for that damn market man who's just going to be chilling there still to this day in Walcourt, just waiting for someone to come up to him and be like, Hey bud, the giant's risen! Yeah, he's just going to be waiting there. But I digress. A topic for another time. For now, I will say only that in the Black Ops 3 terminal, in the campaign, a red scarf is mentioned. That's the only mention of a red scarf we have in Black Ops 3, and so that's what Joe was tweeting me about. He was saying, Milo, red scarf in terminal, red scarf in origins, fluttering around. Could it be anything? Is there more there? Does there gotta be more? And like I said at the time, I was like, meh. But at Cod XP, Jason Blundell answered a question, one of the few questions he answered at the event, at this private little small gathering of Zombies community members, people that had bought the prestige editions of the Codex P wristband and had queued up for a while, all got in, and it was a really cool little time. I was in there, a couple of other Zombies YouTubers were in there, and one of the questions that was asked, and I wish I got the guy's name that asked this because it was fantastic that it was asked, one of the guys said the following, I saw that Dr. Monty has a red scarf. 
Is that red scarf the same scarf that we see in Origins? And if so, should we look into it more? Now, Jason then responded really rather promptly and said, Yes. Next question. So he did something that he never usually does. He just out and out, outright, confirmed something for us. The red scarf in Origins, a fluttering in the breeze, is Dr. Monty's scarf. It's the same damn thing. It belongs to him. Which presumably means that the red scarf in Zetsubo no Shima is definitely Dr. Monty's scarf as well. Which, in itself, isn't much of a revelation, but it's interesting regardless to have it confirmed. We can go back even further, though. And this is why Daniel Jones' tweet to me today has sparked this passion for there's gotta be mores that is now being exemplified in this video right here. In Buried, in the spawn, you walk into the spawn, well, you spawn in the spawn, I suppose, you walk outside the spawn onto that little balcony area, looking down towards the rift which we're supposedly going to heal and heal the earth by proxy. We look down and we see some red cloth fluttering in the breeze. Now, does that ring a bell? Does that ring any bell whatsoever? No, 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 no. Yes, it does. It certainly sounds like it's Dr. Monty's red scarf. Now, the only caveat for Buried, and I don't think this has really been talked about in much depth at all on YouTube so far, certainly not that I've seen at least, but the only caveat is that there are multiple bits of cloth in that Buried spawn area. But if we look back at Origins, what you'll find is that on Origins as well, there are multiple red cloths. There are multiple red scarves. So that doesn't mean that it's not Monty's scarf in Buried. In fact, it most likely is, to be honest. Which poses the question, why? 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 Why have Treyarch bothered doing this in the first place? What purpose is there in spending their time, three years in advance, plopping some red cloths in a map, only several years later to reveal those cloths to belong to a certain character. Is there any real gain from them doing that? It's not really like they foreshadowed anything, really, I would say, because there's not really a thematic sort of vibe that you get from that scarf. It's just, huh. The scarf's there. Why would the scarf be in Buried? Why would the scarf be in Origins? Why in Zetsubo, but not in the other maps? And I guarantee, by the way, people in the comments right now are gonna go, Okay, so the red scarf is there because it's a character design and that's the only reason. And I'm gonna be sitting here going, Oh no, you didn't watch the whole video, no! <laughs> Monty got involved once we opened the portal in France. They're his words. He says that that's what caused him to have to step in, okay? But the portal is opened at the end of the Origins Easter egg, and his scarf is already there before that's opened. So... I don't know. I mean, I feel like that kind of doesn't line up with Monty's tale of events. It's weird. I want to know what the reason for it is, but I'm not really sure. Apart from one thing, and that's that I really feel like they would not put so much emphasis on this red scarf throughout all of Black Ops 3. Jason wouldn't answer this question about it being that particular bit of cloth in Origins if it were not more important and if there were not more. I just think there's gotta be. There's gotta be more. There has to be more. Whether that more will come in further exploration of Monty as a character in future tryout games, don't know, it's possible. Whether it will come in the form of a cipher that we're yet to solve that will talk a little bit about it, about it being in Origins or about it being in the future maps as well, maybe. We don't know right now. We see the scarf over and over and over again, whether it's on a box, whether it's tied to a post, whether it's flapping in the wind and buried, wherever it might be, if it's on Monty's neck, if it's in the Revelations poster as well. All of these places contain a red scarf. And right now, I just want there to be more. Don't know if we'll ever find anything for this one, to be honest. I think that this might just be the kind of thing that Treyarch now say, eh, yeah, that's it. You've, you've had your fill. Run along. See ya. Have a nice three years. We'll be back in a bit. We're nipping to the shops and once we get back we'll uh, 
we'll give you some Black Ops 4 or something for your tea. There you go. Like, I don't think that this is necessarily going to go anywhere tangible in terms of gameplay or anything like that. But I do think that as a theorist, as a theorist, there's got to be more. Guess what? You're gonna fix it! No, 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 no